hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from what we have here we can take x raised to power 4 to the left hand side and we have this as x minus 6 raised to power 4 minus x raised to power 4 equals to 0 from here then from here we can equally write this as x minus 6 squared then also squared as 2 times 2 here will still be 4 then minus here as well we can write this as x square then square equals to 0 from here and this follows from we have a square minus b square which is the same thing as a plus b into bracket then open bracket a minus b that is here a same thing as x minus 6 squared and b same thing as x squared then this equation now can be written as x minus 6 squared plus x squared into bracket then also into bracket x minus 6 squared minus x squared close bracket equals to 0 from here and here it implies we have two cases the first one we have x minus 6 squared plus x squared equals to 0 and the second case here we have x minus 6 squared minus x squared equals to 0 here. Then when we solve here, we can expand this from a minus b squared, which is equals to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Then what we have here becomes x squared plus 6 square then minus 2 times x times 6 then plus x square here equals to 0 from here then from here this is also x square plus 6 square here 6 times 6 that is 36 then minus 12 x plus x square equals to zero here that is we have x square plus x square equals to x square then minus 12 x plus 36 equals to zero from here then here two can divide through here divide through by two then here remain x square then minus 6x here, then plus 18 from here, which is equals to 0 here. Then we have a quadratic equation, which we can solve from the formula. And here, a equals to 1, b equals to minus 6, then c equals to 18 from here. And from the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a then here we have x then equals to minus minus 6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 square minus 4 times 1 times 18 then over 2 times 1 then when we simplify this further we have x equals to minus times minus plus so we have 6 plus or minus square root of minus is square here that's 36 then minus 72 here over 2 from here then this is same thing as x equals to 6 plus or minus 
root minus 36 over 2 from here. That is, we can equally write this as x equals to 6 plus or minus root 36 times root minus 1 over 2. And here we have x equals to 6 plus or minus root 36 here that's 6 then root minus 1 that's i over 2 here and then 2 is common from here we have x now equals to 2 into bracket 3 plus or minus 3 high over 2 so here 2 cancel each other and we have x now equals to 3 plus or minus 3 high. So here we have two complex solutions from here. Then solving this second case as well, and this follows from a square minus b square, which is equals to a plus b multiplied by a minus b. That is here we have a to be equals to x minus 6 then b to be equals to x then this equation now becomes x minus 6 plus x into bracket the open bracket x minus 6 minus x equals to 0 from here then what we have here is x plus x here that's 2x minus 6 then here x minus x cancel out we have minus 6 then equals to 0 from here then when we divide both sides by minus 6 that is here yeah, divide both sides by minus 6 this will remain 2x minus 6 then equals to this will still be 0 from here then taking minus 6 to this side we have 2x equals to 6 and we divide both sides by 2 that is here to cancel out and we have x now equals to 6 over 2 here which is 3 so which here is a real solution here so making three solutions from here we have these two complex solutions and we have x equals to 3 which is a real solution now we can check and put the value of x in what we are given here so let's check for this x equals to 3 then what we have become 3 minus 6 raised to power 4 is equals to 3 raised to power 4 3 minus 6 here that's minus 3 raised to power 4 is equals to 3 raised to power 4 here then when minus is raised to power even number it will still be plus so we can say here this is the same thing as 3 raised to power 4 which is equals to 3 raised to power 4 then we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side so this satisfies so when we check for the solutions to it will satisfy and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video and give it a thumbs up put your comment in the comment section and see you next class bye for now